Is fear of re-injury after an ACL surgery, an ACL injury, how common is that? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. In my book, That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever, I write a couple of chapters about ACL injuries, one about uh, New York Knicks star Bernard King and how that ushered in a new era of returning to sports after ACL injury. And I talk about Brandy Chastain and the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team and all the ACL injuries in female athletes. But one of the themes of both chapters is how hard it can be to get back to sports. And one of the reasons for that is fear of re-injury. And I, I address that uh, in both chapters and I think it's really, really important. Uh, so I want to talk about it here. Uh, yes, that's true with really any injury, but there's something specifically about ACL injuries that getting over that can be really difficult. After all, these are really traumatic events. You land awkwardly from a jump or you turn awkwardly and it feels like your knee explodes. It swells up really big, you struggle to put weight on it, and it's really, really terrifying, I would say. Um, and then finding out you need surgery and then a long process to get back to sports. I talked about it a couple weeks ago with you know that uh, physical therapy process and the rehab. Yeah, it's faster than the 1970s, 1980s, but it's not, it's still you know six, nine, 12 months back to sports. And so the memory of the initial injury, the, the memory of the surgery, the memory of, of how long it took to go get over it, it's no surprise that fear of re-injury is a real thing. Now, there's not necessarily an easy way to get over it. I think the biggest thing for orthopedic surgeons that are doing these surgeries and following the patients after surgery, as well as the physical therapists that are rehabbing the patients, is to recognize it to talk to the patients, ask questions. If you're a patient dealing with an ACL injury, talk to your doctor, talk to your physical therapist and tell them some of these fears that you have. A lot of the times you can get over it in the physical therapy process through the return to sports phase where you learn to jump off of it. You learn to land on it in a controlled environment, not on the basketball court or on the soccer field right off the bat but in the physical therapy gym so you get used to it, you get confident on it. And then there's a process of getting back into uh, drills in that sport on your own and, and even at the complex where you play but maybe not with the team and then you work through practice and you work through uh, into a game situation. That is one thing. We're also seeing, especially at the high levels, pro and college sports, but it's even an option in younger people, there are sports psychologists that can help people get over these injuries as well. Who is likely to have a fear of re-injury versus who isn't? We don't really know, it's just something that can be really tricky. So again, message for you if you're dealing with that problem, tell your doctors, tell your physical therapist. And on the flip side, the doctors, the physical therapist, ask questions, look for it, and see if you can identify it and take steps to treat it before it really limits somebody and maybe they never get back to play after that injury again. Have you dealt with an ACL injury and uh, what did you have a fear of re-injury? What did you do to get confident as you went back into your sport? I'd love to hear your experience and I know people all over the world would love to hear it as well. So below this video, share your comments so other people can learn from them. I write a lot about ACL injuries and fear of re-injury in my book, the, uh, That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I think you would love it if you're a sports fan, if you're an athlete, if you're, you just like to exercise. I think this book not only has a lot of interesting stories uh, and a lot of interesting history, but information that can help you stay healthy and perform your best. I think you'll love it and I would honestly be honored if you'd give it a chance. Below this video, there's a link where you can not only uh, get links to buy the book, but you can also find out how you can get a lot of bonus content absolutely free. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the button in the upper right corner of the page, and you'll get these videos delivered to you just on a regular basis, a couple times a week. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.